In this video, we're going to look at how to debug PowerShell scripts inside PS ScriptPad. So I have PS ScriptPad open here. Uh, I'm currently configured to use Windows PowerShell, and uh, I have a simple PS1 script where I've created a function, I'm calling getChildItem on PS script root, storing that in a variable, and then outputting that variable. On the left hand side inside uh, PS script pad, you'll see that I have uh, the variables window open so I can evaluate variables inside my environment, um, either while I'm not debugging or uh, while I'm stepping through the debugger. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, run this script so I can click this run button or press F5 to actually execute the script. And now you can see the output at the bottom here was test.ps1 um, is the only file that I have in this particular directory, and it was listed just as you would see in a regular PowerShell console. On the left hand side, you'll see that my folder data uh, variable is present here, and it contains information about the file that was returned um, into that folder data variable. In addition to being able to just execute scripts, we can also um, set breakpoints. So you can click on this little margin on the left hand side here to actually set a breakpoint. So actually, I'm going to set a breakpoint on line 5 here, and I'm going to execute the script again by pressing the run button. Now you can see that uh, when I execute the script, it stops at the breakpoint, and I'm actually in the debug mode. So if I were to get, get PS call stack down in the um, in the debugger down here, you'll see that it actually uh, is running and we are sitting on line 5 inside test.ps1. You can see that right there. Uh, we have the standard debugging um, commands. So if you uh, go up to the top here, you can see that we have continue or run, step over, step in, step out, uh, stop, or restart PS script pad. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to step in. So since I have this get folder data function, I want to step into the function. So if I do that, you can see now I'm inside uh, my function on line two here. And if I run get ps call stack again, uh, you'll see that my call stack has now gone one level deeper in the stack and I'm inside get folder data on line two of uh, test.ps1. I can also evaluate variables in here. Um, for example, folder data. Uh, includes my test.ps1 from my previous execution. Um, now, if I want to continue on with my script, I can press run or F5 and it will execute the rest of the script. Uh, in addition to being able to debug scripts in Windows PowerShell, PS ScriptPad also supports running PowerShell 7. So I have PowerShell 7 installed and if I switch over to that version, what you'll notice is when I use PS version table inside my um, prompt down here. Uh, I'm now running in PowerShell 7.2.6. It's also uh, visible here in the top right. Um, it'll show the current PowerShell version that the PS script pad is running under. On the left hand side you will notice as well that the variables have updated. So I have things like is core CLR, is Linux, is Mac OS. And uh, debugging works the same way. So I can set breakpoints and uh, step into the debugger inside PowerShell 7 um, just as I would with Windows PowerShell. So in this video, we looked at the basics of uh, debugging scripts in PS ScriptPad.